Hey everyone, Drew with GeoArm, and I am back to talk to you about the Honeywell Home Pro Series, either the Pro A7 or the Pro A7 Plus. This is how you're going to get it wired for power. Now, uh, before you get started, make sure that you have a strip of between 18 and 22 gauge two conductor wire, like I have here, and you will also need a Phillips head screwdriver like this. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna wanna do here is you wanna go ahead and make sure that your system is uh, out of the box and, and ready to rock here. What we're gonna be doing is we are gonna be removing the back plate. As you can see, there's a screw on the underside of this device. You're just gonna back that out using the Phillips head, all right, like so. All right, get that out of the way, put it off to the side here. Now, we're just gonna pop it off the back plate, like so, all right. Now, you'll see inside of here that there's a lot of space for things. The cellular communicator will go inside of here. That'll be in another video. But we're going to be handling the wiring right now. Actually, the cell communicator goes in here. I'm sorry. The battery goes in here. Uh, so what we'll do first is we'll go ahead and we'll get the battery in place. So all you would do to do that is you just slide this piece off like so. Okay. We're going to take our battery. Our battery is going to go in this slot here, just like so. Slide it in. Okay. Then in order to get it plugged in, all you do is just snap it in place right here just like so. Now this battery is plugged in. Now we'll go ahead and we'll get it wired for power. Go ahead and slide this back on as well here just to get it in there. Okay, now for power. So what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be taking your two leads, the black and the red lead. Red I usually use for positive power, black I usually use for negative. As you can see, our power supply is a DC power supply, meaning it does have polarity. So. This side is the positive side. So DC positive is over here. DC negative is over here. So we're gonna go ahead and get the red wire wired to DC positive here, like so. Get these things loose here. Slide that red wire underneath there, like so. Okay, now it's got its connection. We're gonna take the black wire, and the black wire is gonna be going to DC minus or DC negative. Take the copper that's exposed. Get that tightened down in place here. Okay, now that power supply is wired, it's ready. What you're probably gonna wanna do is you're probably gonna wanna feed this in through the back here like this, so that way it doesn't get stuck or however you wanna feed it in, maybe through a side or however you wanna do it. I'm just gonna feed it in through the back just for the sake of the speed of the video. Now, if you look closely at this device, you can see that it is labeled. There is a V positive and a V negative. So the V positive is gonna be this terminal over here and V negative is gonna be this terminal over here. So we'll go ahead and we'll get these tightened in and, and put in place. So we'll go red wire to V positive, which is here. Get it tightened down using our Phillips head screwdriver. Okay, you've got that wire in place. Now the black wire is gonna to go to V negative. Go ahead and get that tightened down in place. Okay, now this device is ready for its connection. So we can go ahead and get this put back. So you wanna make sure that you go ahead and slide the top end in first because it's got two little clips, as you can see here, two little spots that this slides in with these clips here. So we just get that slid in there first and then we just push it down, okay? Now it's closed. Now we need to just get the screw put in back in place here. All right. Once you get that tightened back down, this thing, we can go ahead and plug it back in. So we're ready to go here. Okay, let's see if our power comes up. All right, that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you power your new Honeywell Home Pro Series Pro A7 or Pro A7 Plus security system. You guys have any questions or any comments, please leave them below. Take care. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the show more tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.